Hey guys, today I wanted to do a Target haul because this was my first time at Target in like a month and I found so many goodies and actually a lot of them were on sale. So I just wanted to go through everything I got because I got some makeup, some skincare, I got some shoes and some jewelry, just like a mixture of all things like beauty related and I'm so pumped and excited to share with it. Let's get into it. Okay. So the first thing I saw at Target that I loved, and I'm so glad because they were the last ones in my size, were these shoes. And I love these type of slide-ons. I'm obsessed with white. Literally, in the summer, the only color I want to wear is white. So I was so stoked when I found these. And I like the material of them because they work really well at the beach because they, like, they're kind of like water-resistant. They seem really durable, and I got a pair from Target last year that was like this too, and I love them, so it was time to get a new pair. And these were literally only $14.99, and they will last me the whole summer. So, I absolutely love these. So yeah, that's those. The next thing I got were another pair of shoes. I was due for new flip-flops this summer, so I got these, and it's kind of cool because it says it's, I think it's very green, like very green. I think it's all recycled stuff. Yeah, recycled. And they're just good heavy duty flip flops. And like I said, I'm obsessed with white. So I got the white ones and they were, these were $16.99. So a little more expensive, but the quality is like amazing. So yeah. Okay, so that's it for shoes. So now I'm going to get into skincare and like the makeup products I got because I'm really excited to show you. Okay, so the only makeup product I got was this L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear Foundation. And I've been hearing about this all over social media and TikTok specifically. And everyone's just raving about it. And my mom got a shade. She got this in her shade. And I loved it. I'm wearing it right now, but it's a little too dark. I need to get a little bit tanner for it. So I went back and got a shade lighter. But this is amazing. Like... Usually foundation, I can like feel it a little bit on my skin. This feels like I'm wearing absolutely no makeup. And that's rare for me. And also I have very oily skin. So usually the only foundations that help with oily skin tend to be a little more like, full coverage and like powdery, which can look a little bit cakey at times. And this is just so smooth and I, I literally love this. So I went back and got another shade and it's great for summer because it has SPF 25 in it. So yeah, definitely recommend this. But So that was like the only makeup product I got, but then I did get um, some skincare. So I got the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion, the PM one. And I actually watched Dr. Dre on YouTube and she's basically like the YouTube dermatologist and she got me so hooked on CeraVe everything. Like it is by far the best skincare brand for your skin. So, like I only use CeraVe, I'm not even kidding. They have ceramides in like every product they sell, a ton of great ingredients and it's fragrance free. Like I refuse to put anything with fragrance on my body anymore because it's so bad for you. Like my, my body lotions are fragrance free. My facial lotions are fragrance free. My body wash, just everything. Cause it's so bad for you. But I absolutely love this moisturizer. I've been using it for like almost a year now and I always um, repurchase it. And I wear this in the morning and at night. It's like basically my go-to. So I love it. Next thing I got was just kind of boring and basic, but I needed more makeup wipes. And this is kind of contradicting because I don't like the brand Neutrogena, but I do like their makeup wipes, so I guess I'm kind of a hypocrite. But this is like the only thing by Neutrogena that I use. And honestly, for me, makeup wipes, they, they get the makeup off and then I wash it off right away. It's not like it sits on my skin overnight, so like I'm not that picky with it. And I just find that um, this is the only brand that has really moisturizing wipes that can actually get off a full face of makeup in one wipe. Most brands I have to use two or even three wipes. So as much as I don't like Neutrogena skincare, I do like their makeup wipes. So picked up more of these. Okay, and then I got a new conditioner. So I've, I got the Raw Sugar Truly Unruly Conditioner. And I love this new brand. Um, this came to Target like two years ago, I feel like. And last year I got the hair mask. It's like the avocado hair mask. And I was obsessed with it. And that was before they like um, expanded their like 
hair care line and so they only had the hair mask at the time and so when I saw they came out with like a conditioner an avocado conditioner I was so happy and I had to buy it right away because it is the only thing that works on my curly hair and doesn't make it frizzy so I absolutely love this stuff and I got the avocado apple cider vinegar and rosemary oil one and honestly, I think by far this is like the best one. I know they have like a grapefruit one and they have like a lemon one, but I think the avocado one is by far the best. And if you have frizzy hair, I totally recommend it because it doesn't, it doesn't weigh it down because every conditioner that says it's good for like curly hair usually is like too good for it that it ends up like weighing it down and I just hate that feeling. This does not do this. This does not weigh my hair down. But it also takes the frizz away, so like I can't recommend this like product enough. Video, I actually use the hair mask in it, so you can go check that out. But yeah, I picked up the conditioner. Okay, so that was pretty much it for like beauty and skincare. So now I'm gonna get into um, like accessories. I got some sunglasses and a pair of earrings that I wanted to show you guys. Yes. Oh, and I'll link all these products in the description below, but... Okay, these first, um, these first pair of sunglasses are so cute. They're white with, like, rose gold around them. And, like I told you, I'm obsessed with white, and I just think these are so pretty. Like, look. Like, come on. That is so cute. I feel like you don't see white sunglasses a lot, and it'll just make my face look tanner at the beach. And I can't wait to wear these. They're just so cute. And these are $16.99. So, not bad. A pair of sunglasses I got were a new pair of aviators. The I feel like the new trend with aviators are like the big, thick rim. And so I got the gold pair. And I just think these are also stunning. These are also $16.99. Um, yeah, these were the second pair of sunglasses I picked up. They're just so stinking cute. Like, look. Okay, the plastic's kind of on them, but I just think they look really cute. And I can totally see myself wearing these at the beach. And I was due for new sunglasses, so I'm pumped. But, yes, I got these. And the last thing I got in my Target haul are these earrings. I'll show you right here. They look like this. They're kind of just like a chunky, like, off-white hoop. Like a, a weird-shaped hoop. But I actually found these in clearance for $6.48, but they were originally $13, so that was a huge steal. But Target ends up putting a lot of their jewelry on clearance, so always look at clearance at Target because they have some cute jewelry on clearance. But, um, yeah, these are so cute, and like I said, I love white. I think it'll look really pretty with my dark hair, and I'm actually getting highlights again this Monday, but... Um, I just think these are so summery and so pretty and just cute. I hate paying full price for jewelry. It's just something I don't like to splurge on at all. I, so when I do see jewelry on clearance I, and it's cute, I want to buy it. So yeah, I got these. Using my Target card, which gives you 5% off, my total was $114. Um, if I didn't use the Target card, I think it would have been like $122 or something. Something around there. But but that is my Target haul. It's just a, it's quick. I didn't buy too many things, but I was excited about some of the good stuff I found. I wanted to buy some bikinis at Target, but all I think I waited too long because all of my sizes were gone, which sucks. But yeah, the bikini section is definitely overpicked at Target, and I kind of I kind of saw that coming because Target's one of the only stores that has stayed open. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I got, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.